What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video, and in today's video we are back with the E36 and my oh my, this thing's looking too good. I don't know if you guys got a little update on the E36, I know I've been making a lot of E36 videos guys, but I've been really, really, really enjoying this build. It's something completely different, and I really think this thing's gonna look absolutely insane by the time I'm finished with it. But yeah, just check out those USB ports, check out the shifter, finally got a new e-brake, the cup holder's looking so much cleaner, and uh, obviously we got the radio now, it's looking so, so, so much better. I cannot wait to get the new steering wheel, we got a steering wheel. A custom steering wheel coming in. We're so waiting on it, but as soon as it comes in, guys, it's going to really change the game. We also got these awesome door straps from uh, Turtle Labs. Super happy about these. Again, these door panels are really, really, really nice. I love them for the price. I think it was like 200 bucks for literally all four doors, and you can choose your harness as well. I think for 400 bucks, I mean, 200 bucks, that's a really, really, really good deal. Now, in today's video, I wanted to pretty much do some more, uh, some more weight reduction. There's a lot more things that we can still do to this car, and at the same time, I kind of want to just get the car ready to remove all this sound deadening. This sound deadening, I believe, adds weight to the car and it's just pretty ugly it's pretty ugly and also once we actually get all this sound ending out we'll be able to clean up all these wires just make the car look a whole lot cleaner that's what i'm super excited about i just want this thing to look super clean but also a track car i don't want to explain it but i have some super super high expectations and high goals for this thing now as for the dash and everything going on over here you guys see i'm working really hard on it. i want all this stuff to stay and i want it to look clean even this i want to put this, i want to put this back on i want to be able to mount the obd port i want all this to be functional and nice but as far as everything else else literally in the car I don't want it. everything needs to go including the seatbelt including this trim piece all the other trim pieces um, so yeah pretty much just from like the center console forward I want everything to stay original but including the roof and everything and all this stuff and the and the moon roof and literally everything back here guys it's got to go now also guys I'm trying to get a full cage in this car so it's gonna help out if we fully got this thing a full cage is actually very 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 expensive like we're talking thousands of dollars expensive and uh, I'm not really ready for that especially considering we have even tracked the car yet we haven't even got like our money's worth out of it yet um, but obviously doing this stuff is just preparing it for the cage anyways when the time comes but before we actually get into this car for those of you guys who are wondering what's going on with the 335 is nor can you please make more videos on that i did order a bunch more parts i showed you guys all the things that were missing on the car and i ordered a bunch more parts we dropped like 800 dollars on just little miscellaneous things here and there a lot of money guys is going into these projects and quite frankly uh considering how the economy shifted up and youtube pay it's just not cutting it. it's really 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 bad and your boys just trying to do what he can in the meantime and taking weight off a car that doesn't cost you any money and that is super awesome because i cannot wait for this thing to look like a real race car i mean it's coming together but i mean i want it to be looking like a real race car <laughs> So the first thing I want to do, honestly, um, I think I might actually start removing all these little plastic pieces, remove the seatbelt, and then uh, probably start removing the roof, all this stuff, like the sun visors, we have the door handles, um, all that good stuff, and then probably actually start removing this stuff as well, uh, the rear seat buckles, again, just try to clean up as much things as possible, remove as much things, probably these plastics, so uh, yeah, let's see how much weight we can pull off this car. everything off over here the center portion this side as well we also got the uh the little bar that goes over here um so at this point guys we just have one more over here one more on the other side and i think that's pretty much it like two more handle pieces and i think this roof just comes out some way so uh yeah let me go ahead and just send it on the two rears So at this point, guys, you pretty much got all this stuff removed. I think there's nothing else, honestly, holding this thing up. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks pretty much stripped. So uh, I think I'm just gonna start yanking on it and try to get this, um, this, uh, this, uh, what do you call it? The roof off, just gonna get the roof off. <laughs> Now 
Guys, what a mess did this thing do? Literally turned into like a billion pieces and it flew everywhere. I mean, that's probably the reason why every time I'm driving, I see things flying all over the place. Uh, but yeah, we now have just a moonroof, sunroof thingy McBobber. I'm gonna quickly just vacuum out this seat so I don't have to feel super uncomfortable. And just like that, guys, we got things pretty much vacuumed up, looking a lot better. And uh, we finally have the roof off the car. So actually, before we actually remove this sunroof, we do need to get a sunroof delete because it's been raining here in California. And if I take this off, Water's gonna flood this entire interior, and that is no bueno. So yeah, we're all gonna have to wait on that, and then also all those wires and stuff. I'm hoping it connects to some kind of harness, like all these roof wires connect to a harness, so we can just unplug that harness, and we are good to go. That's all hoping it works out. So the next thing I wanted to work on, as you guys can see, there's no more leaking actually coming from that cylinder up there uh, for the clutch cylinder. Um, Blake actually found out when he was watching my video, he was like, probably that hose that sits on top of it is what's leaking. So I ended up putting a clamp on there yesterday, and uh, and so far overnight, I'm not noticing any anything so guys actually when i was working on the car i noticed this spill this basically it started to leak and uh, i don't really know what that is i'm really hoping that is not brake fluid uh but if it is um i guess we're gonna find out so i see that it's leaking somewhere over here we're gonna start taking this apart and just see where it's leaking exactly because it's not leaking in there anymore it's not leaking up there so what is leaking exactly so guys looking at this i actually just removed the screws back here and it looks like it's leaking from somewhere up here so uh I don't really know where that connects to. I'm going on the top. And to be honest with you guys, it's not leaking from up here, which is where we actually connected it from. I don't see any leaks over here. Uh, but all the way down there, I do see that it's kind of wet. You guys can't really see it, but like right there, it's kind of wet, but I don't know from where. I'm just so confused. Just now guys, I actually gave it a good wipe down. I'm not seeing any new drops yet, no new drops. And I pretty much wiped down this area as well. And I checked it up here. There's no actual leaks. Like I can't actually find the, the source of the leak. And reason being, um, it turns out when we actually cut the little nipple piece that you actually install the hose onto, um, that part when it, when you first when you officially cut it, uh, basically a lot of brake fluid kind of seeped out and it kind of puddled up somewhere. So I guess since it's the first time this car is inclining, all the fluid is pretty much just just fell out. So I guess that's what happened. It puddled up. It fell out. It's according. It's, it's, I think that's me and Blake's logic because none of the fluids that's in the tank has emptied out. Like all the fluids that's in the brake fluid tank is uh, it's in there. It's in there. So I. I think we're good on that. I'm actually gonna leave uh, the, the box down there and see if there's anything new that shows up, but I wiped everything down. I think we should be good. So I think we should go ahead and uh, start fixing other things on this car. Something guys I've been meaning to fix for so, so, so long is this mirror. I actually have it disconnected on this side. The other side, I have it connected. This side, whenever it connects, it just literally just starts going down on its own. So uh, every time I turn on the car, the, the literally the mirror would just go down on its own. And it just gets so annoying because you have to adjust it every single time you get inside the car. So I kind of just adjusted it where I want it to be. Then I disconnected it. Uh, uh, but yeah, at this point, let's go ahead and just remove the glass and uh, replace the motor that's in there. Just like that guys, this thing is finally connected and uh, hopefully it works. Let's go ahead and get inside the car and check if that works. We're in business, boys. <laughs> Please no leaks, please no leaks, please no leaks, please, 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 Um, I don't know if that's a leak or not, but if it is, it's a pretty bad one. And that looks pretty bad. Oh boy, I'm gonna get this off the driveway. So the next thing I wanna go ahead and do guys is remove this and remove this seat belt. By the time we actually have seats in this car guys, we're not gonna need this. So uh, any hoozles, I think you have to remove that bolt first and then the rest of this and that bolt right there as well. And then the rest of this should just honestly pop out. <laughs> Seatbelt is officially out, guys. We're going to remove this rail as well. There's this little thing that kind of goes like up and down. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. But anywho, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out as well. I 
think we pretty much got everything out that we can today. As for the driver's seatbelt, obviously I'm still driving the car until we get some bucket seats, then I'll remove the driver's seatbelt. But what I actually have over here is some brand new shocks for the front and rear uh, for the E36 M3. Both of them are pretty much shots. Let me just go ahead and replace those, and then I'll get back to you in a second. And last of all guys is this glove box. So you guys saw that we added this and it looks so much better, but this thing is broken. Um, I, I wanna replace that, I have a new switch for that. This thing is sagging really badly too. And if you guys look down here, this is ripped, this is ripped. It just looks really, really, really bad. Um, it does look really clean, so I will have to clean the new one that I put in, but uh, yeah, the goal is, is to remove this and swap over a new one. And just like that guys, this is the new one. Um, there, it is pretty rough, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but at least it opens and closes just fine. This one, as you guys can see, it's ripped, but it looks really clean. So unfortunately, I just, I wish I didn't have to replace this, but I do. Um, this again is my original one, which actually looks in really good shape. Uh, this is the one I pulled off, which um, even the button honestly doesn't look like it's working properly. The only thing I really need from this one is, uh, as you guys can see, I think it's this one, yeah. This switch right here. So if I can transfer this switch, I'm just gonna keep this the way it is. And uh, I'm gonna just try to transfer this door over so I don't have to keep the glove box because the glove box doesn't look that clean if you ask me. Wish me luck, I'll let y'all know what I get down to in a few minutes. Got the new button working, super happy about that. And we got the new glove box working, boys. Go ahead and get this inside the car. And just like that, guys, we have a fully functioning glove box and uh, it looks so much better. Um, this is super annoying though, the coloring. I'm just such a perfectionist. And this thing, I wish sit up a little bit higher, but it's not bad compared to other people I've seen. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that, I'm not gonna lie. Now, wish me luck, guys, with the mysterious leak. I don't know really know what's going on with that leak I really hope it's not a big deal and I hope it's something from like an overspill not an actual leak so I'm gonna go ahead and keep driving hope for the best I'm gonna check the the brake tank the brake fluid capacity once I get home um, and just I'm just gonna hope it just kind of goes I don't really know where that leak is coming from something I just noticed is well our brake lights out and it just popped up on here so uh, let's go ahead and replace our brake light bulb because I actually got that as well so from what I remember I believe it's this light right over here one of these two bulbs that sit over here um, this side's working, this is my brake light that's not working. So let's go ahead and just uh, replace that real quick. And I believe it's this one. I'm really hoping I don't break anything back here, but uh, I think it's this guy. Please be bad. I mean, it kind of looks bad. Uh, let's just replace this one anyway. Now this is the new bulb. I ended up getting from pick and pull. So uh, let's go ahead. I don't know how this goes in. Oh buddy, is that not the right one? Oh no, dude. Fingers crossed that that's actually the right bulb. If not, um, we need to get a new bulb. Looks like we're in business. And guys, we're officially back home. And unfortunately, um, it's been leaking really bad. I had my brother actually drop me back over here. This is the next morning, and I'm gonna have to take another car to go down to that house. Probably fix it another time because I'm really not in the mood to fix it and figure out what's going on. But yeah, guys, unfortunately, it is pa it is the 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 clutch fluid, brake fluid, whatever it is. I think it's the line, the only piece that we used that was used throughout the entire swap. I honestly recommend doing everything new. And people say swaps are only like six, 700 bucks. That's completely false because if you get everything from a junkyard, most likely you will need new things because everything is needs a seal. So you need brand new almost everything other than the transmission and the drive shaft and things like that. But anyway, it's a work in progress. We did order the parts, so hopefully it's gonna be in the car pretty soon. But without further ado, guys, smash the like button if you guys enjoy the E36 build series and let me know what color we should wrap this car because I am gonna get all the dents pulled out and probably gonna get the car polished, but I also wanna wrap it. So let me know what color we should wrap it down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Smash the like button if y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.